far here from Hedgehog's Homestead. Norman got bit by something. It's looking better already. And this is what I'm doing to take care of it. I'm using some of this Vet RX Plus, and uh, I just spray it on. Every day. And I cover that up with a Band-Aid. So there you guys go, just a little gauze Band-Aid on there. And I don't have to take them to the vet. And it works really well. I've used it on chickens before. That's all you need. I'll leave a, v a link for that VetRx below. I've used it on rabbits where a rabbit has um, gotten another rabbit and put holes in the rabbit. I had a chicken that was attacked by a raccoon, sprayed that on it, had a huge hole like this. I left that wound open because of bacterial issues. So I just sprayed and sprayed and sprayed that thing twice a day and put that um, chicken in a in a safe place, in, in a place by itself, and it healed tremendously and very quickly, and, and it was amazing. I just wanted to share something with you guys. I am gonna be trying this um, mouse trap, no affiliation whatsoever, um, and I'm gonna be putting it in the area around my, um, actually, I'm gonna be putting two out. I'm going to be putting some out by my chickens and some out by my, um, in my garden area because, and I'll show you in a little bit, my garden area is getting eat up by something and I don't know what it is. Okay, so I'm out in my garden. I'm going to show you all the damage from these mouse and critters and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty bad. Um, let's... So this is my sweet potatoes. You can see they're down to nothing, basically. If, if I can get them to grow back, that will be nice. This is my beans. Uh, they got my, my peas as well. Um, I had peas growing up in here. You can see they're just little nubs next to my corn. And uh, just about everywhere they've eaten away. This is my other beans, just little nubs. So pretty bad. So I'm gonna go find a bucket. I got the lid on, we'll fill it up with water. We'll start that way. And then I'm gonna put a fence around this whole area. Then I'm gonna clean up this cardboard over here off to the side to make sure that they don't have a hiding area. Plus, I need a fence around here to keep Norman out. <laughs> because once my, uh, my fruit starts producing, and he likes to eat fertilizer. So you gotta watch that with your dogs. I use all organic. Um, if you use anything, even organic fertilizer can make them very sick. So watch it on the fertilizers. He, you know, I water with fish emulsion. He loves, he loves fish emulsion. Um, I, I, I don't get it, but, so he'll go in my garden beds and lick it. So that's not going to hurt them, but maybe some of the other stuff might. Um, but we're going to get this on here. And this is just an old bucket um, from Home Depot. And we'll put a little food on there. Um, and so they'll just fall right in. Um, I gotta put a little more water in there and we'll get it done. Now we're going to get some poultry fencing up around here.
So I know it looks like garbage, but I'm gonna move this um, cardboard around. The cardboard keeps, his, keeps the weeds down and it also um, invites the worms. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then do a little watering. It's been a busy, well, a busy life lately. <laughs> Keeping a homestead, starting a brand new homestead, working with new soil, all kinds of crazy stuff, working on pastures, um, getting animals and all that great stuff uh, on the homestead and making it happen out here. Sorry about the wind, guys. It's just how it is up here on the ridge in Tennessee. Um, so I thought I'd show you guys my progress from yesterday. Um, and no, there's no mouse in the trap, unfortunately. It may have been deer. Um, so let me show you real quick. There you go. Mouse trap is still there and nothing's in it. I put all the cardboard inside except for a couple pieces that are um, over uh, some blackberry out here and there was no place for anything to hide so this all this stuff over here will go in a burn pile that's why we're keeping it there the cardboard down here is knocking some weeds out some blackberry the rest of those are kind of um flowering uh wildflowers so we're going to go ahead and keep those in there um but norman is staying out of here now um so no more eating uh fertilizer for Norman over there. Um, he's doing really good with his wound um, and his wound care. So that's great. So today I'm going to do a bunch of stuff like doing some weed whacking. Look for that video because I'm going to give some cool tips for making your own your own uh, fertilizer. We'll see you next time. Thank you for coming. God bless.